Partridge. Soup for your soul. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Alfred Soup for Your Soul, and we are on episode two of our Let's Play of Alone in the Dark. Where we left off was, well, my game crashed. But we ended up backtracking to where we left off, and we had the, we found the Jeremy's Talisman in the French Quarter. We solved the puzzle with no issues, obviously. Uh, teleported back to Dorsetto, Dorsetto, if I'm pronouncing it right, where we were suspiciously in the Doctor's Quarters. Had some choice words, had a little drink, left there, bumped back into Emily, who hired us, and our character is obviously very disheveled. And then stating that we need to head to the place known as Teruella. So that is where we are, and that is where we're going to begin. And speaking of, let's actually go into the system objectives. Find the astronomical clock mentioned in the commonplace book. Find Dorsetto's boiler mentioned in the commonplace book, which I've, we've already found. We just need a piece to solve it. Investigate what Perosi knows. Oh, it's just madness. Every night the dark man stands up. Threshold. Convent of Teruella. Better boy, their old ups or the how the old upstairs clock. Let's go there first because I know the boiler definitely needs a piece to make it run, or that we can even solve the puzzle to begin with. This bear is gonna jump out. I I just know it is. It's going to, and it's going to piss me off. Or right, click and hold. Okay. I'm assuming this is the astronomical Same. clock. Looks like some kind of rod. Oh, the statues. This must be the clock that Jeremy wrote about in the commentary. Looks like the plate that held the talisman in the seance room. But it's broken. I'm missing some pieces. We're on the hunt for some pieces. Oh. oh, that looks promising. Let's see if we can find them. I need the key. Does this key work? Of course not. Why would life be that easy? Sorry, detective. Didn't mean to obstruct justice or anything. That's fine. You know, I'm kind of busy with my own case of a missing person. I was wondering if you've seen Grace, a girl about yay high. I can't say that I have. Why are you asking? Well, I'm looking for her. Is she in trouble? No, 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 no. Uh, she's just uh, hiding somewhere. Can't have a rascal like that running around unchecked at a time like this, you understand? Well, I haven't seen her. Well, let me know if you find her. I'll be around. So Grace is missing. We're hiding. Uh, I'll keep an eye out for your man, Jeremy. You scratch my back, detective, and I'll scratch yours. I was about to say, I can't tell if that's an accent or he's just inebriated, and then he's just holding a bottle, so that answers that question. McCarthy reminded Detective Comby of an old barfly he used to know. He detested him. There was no getting around it. McCarthy was going to have a hard time getting on. Looks like everything's back to normal here. I'm just waiting for the time I can use these keys. Just the hope and the prayer. Emily's here. Emily's here. So I'm going to go on a limb and say that that shadow is the dark man following Emily. Kids' drawings of 
<clears throat> especially paranormal stuff, just always, uh, always just sends a chill down your spine. Like, oh, what a nice picture. What's that shadow? I'm like, it's the dark man. And you're like, oh, okay. Nothing. Shotgun cabinet. Looks like a dog, uh, dog collar. Yeah, that looks like a dog collar. It's just like boxing gloves stapled to the wall. There's a lot of chests that just have nothing in them. Hmm. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna cry his keys every time. Okay. So this place is obviously a dead. This room four is not complete with. Leave this room. So. I don't think I missed anything. Unless it's just like I have to come back at a later time. Oh, that's why the chest. There is a way I can like zoom. All right, we're going downstairs. This is um, I remember this from the prologue. <clears throat> when she like runs downstairs to get to the mail room, and this whole room turns like a swamp with alligators. Hopefully, something good happens. Can I get into the corner? This is the keys open. I need the key. TST, your keys are useless. It says, I'm not going to. Oh, it's out of this now. I need to help Emily save her uncle. That's an admirable way to look at it. I mean, Resident Evil was like, if you go outside, you'll be killed by dogs. And you're like, are you sure? Hey, we figured it out. I knew these keys had to be good for something. Paul, you're right about the plates on the boiler and the clock. They have been sabotaged, and I think I know who did it. They have something to do with Jeremy's episodes and how he seems to disappear at night. Right now, it's important that the you well in the kitchen garden. For any of the Dr. Elmore Lee Gray is DeSetto's chief doctor. Accounting and all administrative work is handled by me. Number six. And where would that be? I'm gonna go up there just before trying to look for the well. A bit of knowledge. There's no way I can get into this thing. Better leave it alone. There's no way I can get into this thing. Better leave it alone. I'll put this one up there. Cassandra Beardard, age 47, room number 8. Reason for admission. Software from writer's block and needs to finish her moving picture script before the end of June. You get admitted for that? Crazy time. Suggests heavy use of barbiturates. Ah, there we go. It's holding her back from and risk. <clears throat> holding her back and risk career. 
the beloved crime author who managed to pull herself out of poverty and into stardom. Five years ago, she tried to kill herself by jumping off a balcony. The incident left her a cripple and now relies heavily on her wheelchair. Grace. This is the person, the girl from the prologue, who is now apparently hiding. Mother insists on strict supervision by a proper gentleman. Oh, boy. Here we go. I will deal with her father's death. She is willing to suppressing her feelings in the matter. Where's room number six? That's where we're going. Elizabeth. Elizabetta Perosi. This is the person I'm supposed to dig into more information about. Broke into to, broke into Dorsetto and was found wandering the grand parlor. She was confused and suffered partial amnesia. She insisted she belonged here and offered to pay for her stay. That's a little sus. <clears throat> Claims to have been a member of the Starte Artist Colony some 20 years ago. Or I probably butchered up pronouncing that word, so I apologize. A claim that seems she looks to be and even thinks she's 33 would make her a child at the time. It's peculiar because she retracted her story about the colony. She no longer claims to be the same person as Elisabetta Perosi. However, my staff has confirmed there was a Perosi at the time who was in her early 30s. Interesting. I just think all the patients are accounted for, except for Jeremy. Should have probably looked at that. So Jeremy's off the books. If you saw your notice in the boiler room, you should know Mr. Chance won't be coming back. I got no business being in there myself, but you can take a valve from the wine cellar if you want to try to stop the steam from pouring out. Okay. Be careful. I want to go up to her room first, unlock that door, see if there's anything I need for going downstairs. I feel going downstairs is going to push the story forward. That bear. Oh, now they're labeling. Okay. Because of canopy. This artwork, though. These paintings got some grim looking rot on them. William Arges. Franklin Mosley. Complete the shape with the rot in the paint. Comfrey. I was confused because I was like, is it by color or just the shape? I 
and these are gonna, I think. The starving artist colony. I remember hearing about their disappearance. Must have been 15 years or more now. Yeah, those names correlate to the paintings I just messed around with. You may need to remember how to get them out again. They are locked up for good reason. I am sure she is still able to whisper the answer in the ears of the Van Cooper. But not for long. I will see her burned soon enough. That black goat will be sacrificed to put an end to it all. Then it will all be over. No more Def Seto, and sadly, no Astarte. So a ritual? Those good pirates of Poncha train. When I hear that blow, black goat will be sacrificed. I'm also thinking of Shignagruff. the shores of Hali. Beast with a thousand. What are these symbols? Looks like alchemy or star constellations. They're probably in here somewhere. I did it. I crossed the thresholds to my intended destination without a focusing device. My talisman now knows these roads. I can find my way to <clears throat> Lafayette as easily as I find my own room. I had visited the grave of my father and seen the oven waiting for me. Thank you for opening these doors. I must now summon, I must, I now must summon my courage and go back to that hateful mound outside the oil rig. I hope you will be feeling better when I return, Jeremy. Well, obviously talking about the, uh, the talisman. Any clues regarding the astronomical symbols on that? One eleven ten. I should help if I actually looked at what the symbols were. Waves, arrow, Scorpio. That's not it. Yeah, those symbols are on there. Are not on there, I should say. Yeah, the symbols aren't on there. I mean, some of them are, but not not all of them. I swear I'm good at puzzles. I have a feeling it has something to do with over here. William Argus, Franklin, Mazig. Oh, there's numbers above them. The plot thickens. So William Argus is two. Franklin Mosaic, so two, nine, and it was Nor Key, right? So two, nine, four. Yeah. Oh, are these numbered in a row? Like one, two. What was I? Two nine four. So Pisces. Pisces Libra. Pisces Libra Taurus.
Pisces. Gotta redeem myself. Broken plate. Piece of a larger decorative plate. It has a dark and burnt quality. That definitely goes upstairs. It says broken, so I'm assuming there's more than one. Uh -huh. Oh, shit's getting interesting. I don't trust that. There's a heartbeat with that. And the music. This is that moment you know you have to move. You just don't want to. Yep. Do I just sprint? I see them. Sprint. That's a dumb idea. Nothing a little drinky boo can't fix. What happened? Everything's normal again? Right. Actually, I didn't even realize that. <laughs> I'm just so dead set in the puzzle of like. You mean just got killed by a larva? Let's go put that broken blade in there. Okay. Time to go into the basement to find this well and the boiler room. Well, I mean, boiler room. But... Oh, it says I can go through the library. I can see how. Why is he why telling me it's print? Oh, hello. What was that? Library. Is it? It's the that I just walked past. I don't, I don't trust anything else anymore. Lost Plantations of Louisiana, Terry Bigelow. They said it was a small plantation on the eastern shore of a lake. Part of train. The land was considered difficult by for industry and was sold for only thirty dollars to a guy up Pickford in eighteen eighteen. Clear the woods, built a small plantation. Kept a modest production of Greek tobacco. I'm like so bad at pronouncing this is Indigo that persisted up until the Civil War. During the antebellum era, Darsetto was the source of many rumors concerning voodoo and witchcraft. People who traveled the lake reported seeing people dance at night in front of bonfires, bleeding and wailing. Sounds very, uh, empty man, Call of Cthulhu like. Captain J.W. Norton of the Union Army recounts leading a raiding party from ships anchored on the lake in order to seize control. The workers were fighting back. Tried to placate the raiders, but was shot in the confusion. Captain Norton left the mansion burning and retreated to his ships with his men. Interesting. Very interesting. Oh, the shotgun locker. I need to find the dog collar. Or what I think is a dog collar. It has to be in here. It's wedged shut. 
screwed. Can you just kick it? Observatory. That was a little delayed. I expect some of that. Okay. Dude, the imagery is so good. Does my map work in this? It does, surprisingly. Ooh, I'm just kind of trudging through. I feel like bolt cutters are just a staple now in every game, every horror game. Anyway, I like I started noticing like Resident Evil 7. So I'm like, oh cool bolt cutters, and then eight, and then all the remakes. And now this. Even the walls. My flashlight doesn't work here. Very interesting. Maybe the house or whatever entity is in the house is preventing me from moving forward. Because now it's just snaps back to reality. That's always good for the sanity. What's going on? Does this game have a sanity meter? Nice little balcony. What is happening? My guy's just floating now. Oh, that's just there. The chain link on my back. I really want that shotgun. There's a lot of boxes like that. Did I continue to go up? Oh, no, these flowers are obviously a massive barrier that there's no way I can ever surpass and get through them. I thought I was here already. Yeah, this is completed. This is have a puzzle piece for the kitchen garden. This is where I think that uh, I was like, do you want no hints or do you want a hint? Because this is, I mean, listen, I'm not gonna complain. That's nice. I think one of the most infuriating parts of Resident Evil 1 remake, which I reference all the time. It's actually one of my favorite games of all time. And I'll probably replay it at some point. Which is when you get the mansion keys, you just have no idea where they go for any reason. Like, oh, this is the armor key? Fantastic. This is the sword key, and you're just trying random doors. But I like this. Makes it easy mode, but... Listen, I'm all about laid back. Wait, it says the kitchen doors over here? Beast of Burden. Okay, so the puzzle piece says I'm back. Oh, the bowl cutters. Got it. Water hose? I'm so lost. Why do I need a water hose? I messed up. Hmm. Huh. I have to turn this on. I'm assuming. It's using my brain. Or is it turn on? OK. 
Okay, so I definitely... Is there like a room at the... No. So there has to be a way to turn this on. There has to be. Going down there. So there's a... What are you, good sir? I'm sure this won't come back to haunt me anytime soon. You stay. Stay. I run! My mind was that I was draining this thing, so am I flooding it? Oh, it's a bucket. There's the other plate. Nice, I can solve the upstairs. And I'm assuming something horrible is going to happen. Second, I hit the B button. Back the way we came. Right? Is that where the inspiration for the dog collar came from? In Resident Evil 1? Because that gets you the false key, which then gets you the key in the basement. It's wedged shut. I don't know why I thought that was. <laughs> Can I unlock it from this side? Let's just lock from both sides. Oh no. I'm on the, I thought I was on the other side of the house. I was like, how is the door possibly locked from both sides? It's not. I'm just an idiot. This bear. I'm gonna keep saying it, but I don't. Watch over through the whole game, that bear does nothing. Absolutely nothing. All this paranoia. I think I've seen this somewhere. An anxiety for no reason. Can you rotate? Okay, I was confused. I was like, that would be the easiest part. Okay, so I can't move that one. This one. Going there. There was something in the commonplace book about me. Thanks for the uh, tip, me. Let's see if I can just do the left. I can just kind of get my way through it. Board pattern up there. There's also a board pattern right there. Oh, 
Okay, let's go. Detective Combe had a hard time understanding what had happened. It did feel Is this person just narrating you. what's happening right now? I'm so confused by this person. Oh, is it the bottom? I don't want to keep opening this book and closing it. So I'm going to get a photo of it. And I'm not cheating. I swear to God. I just took a picture of that. I'm not cheating. Let's do that. Okay. the main pieces in place though okay so now the blood one has to go here okay. I just had the blood pattern the mixed up broke. Or maybe it just stopped at a very precise place okay a again hmm. oh my lord Three, four, six. Redeem myself after that last horrific performance. Jeremy's room. Yeah. Is it the hallway in Jer or is it Jeremy? So not Jeremy's room, but the hallway. <laughs> That'll do it. Why not? Let's just go in this creepy door that just opens by itself. It can't open again. Another one of Jeremy's memories. You can go this way and let's look around. Look for Jeremy inside the hateful mound beyond the oil rig. Is there a, can I go this way or no? Okay, so this is the path, alright. I would love to find supplies, bullets, booze, whatever. I have uh, probably a half broken axe, I'm assuming, because I just spammed the melee button too much. Let's go here. Oh, I'm getting ambushed by everything. I know it. May 1923. Money. All okay. All okay, okay for delivery. Maintenance. Oil pump must be serviced. Any tampering cartridges lost 
large spills unless properly forestalled. Shipment delayed but delivered. Service branch is closed. Prospectors reluctantly agree to show the burial mound to Mr. Hartwood, a painter who read about our finds in the paper. I would promise not to return the compound. Workers seem nervous about his presence. Instead, he is taking up an offer by Lafayette. Officer? My pronunciation is so bad. The riverboat captain, who means to pilot him to the site tomorrow morning. Hopefully that's the end of and the work can resume. Bridge from the oil tower to the bayou has collapsed. Sabotage expected. This is the devil that guides us now. Huh. Adequate response. Ah. I need the key. Please. Nails and a wrench, come on. Hey. That's what I'm talking about. Well, obviously can't go that way. Key. Oh, I can't shove doors. Okay. That's what I want. Something here, I'm assuming. This time, I'm going to be a little sneaky. Because... So it screwed me last time, just trudging in face first. Through these bullet sponges with enemies. That could have been so bad. Imagine just chucking a rock right in front of you, like you die instantly. Never a good sign. And by never a good sign, I mean when they just start throwing supplies at you, even though I just asked for it. I think that's the key to open that door. Hmm. Now the question is, do I push forward? Or do I head back? A lot of times I notice that if, if they give you a key like this, watch it doesn't work. It's worth it to kind of just go back and check it out because there might be an item that you need or then that can help you. Not, not necessarily in the story mode, but like supplies or like a help item. Like it's worth it to backtrack a little bit because most people are just going to be like, let's just keep going. You can only carry one. That's just. So obviously, with the backtrack was worth it because you know if I had no melee weapon, I wouldn't have had one. Bridge lever. Actually, this was required. So yeah, I would I would have to come back God. here no matter. I would have to come back no matter. And if it's. Worth it. I do have a melee weapon ready to go. Uh. 
That's gonna be really annoying. But they listen to that every time. That was good. That was a good jump scare. That's probably the bolt trick I got on me. I'm not that like go white in the face, scream in front of the camera type of type of guy. Lord have mercy, please. Now the question really is, are these monsters real? Like these are many that actually happen. Or is this the dark man invading his memories? Trying to get me. I don't want to try. Up upstairs again. I'm, I'm tired of all these casters that have nothing in them. Might as well. If I can't hold on to any more health items, I might as well just top off. There's something there. I really want the shotgun. There's no way you're gonna bury on here, are you? Bury. Bury yourself. Oh, there it is. Probably just waiting for me. That was a really stupid time. So, I guess absolutely wrong. Sorry. Right. There you are. Oh my lord. I don't know why. I was like, there's no way he is gonna come out of this deck. I'm like, let me scratch my finger, which for some reason is super itchy. And he just nuked my health into oblivion. That's what I get. Anyone else? I feel like now I have all these self items and actually are working. Like I'm just getting attacked by everything. Or as a weapon? Huh. I'll keep it. Here. Are you kidding me? I am wasting a lot of ammo. It shouldn't be. Just can't help it. Oh no. Did I actually pull that off? I think I should melee him. 
Let's just put. scream it's so bloody or is that like a way to just mess with my field of vision oh, I just swung absolutely madly with the gadget I'm just using too many bullets I can attack the barricade pretty weak. I just need something to break it. there's no map though That means is this is let's head in here for a seat. Now I'm like worried like every like fly noise is being these guys. Pick up the shovel. I much prefer the shovel. store that's a okay that's not that'll look say everything I have to look up if headshots count in this game. I hear one. Are they outside? Oh yeah, they're not too happy with me. Just killed their best friend. Like what am I stuck on? Or is it just the oil rig and I was freaking out for no reason? Or, plot thickens, is the oil rig the same sound as those guys that confuse me into thinking that? Okay. There's definitely more of those like Warren things. Let's go to the not so creepy music. statuette forbidden knowledge okay I'd really love a melee weapon again So itchy, I have no idea. 
driving absolutely nuts. I want to go back to the place I Because I remember there was something. A melee weapon. Because if you can just like, in close quarters like that, it's so much easier just to stun lock them. Is there one in here? I don't want to backtrack all the way. Okay. I think it's worth it. I don't want to, especially that thing. Because I have what? Two rounds with two give me shots. Knowing me, I miss way more than that. would love to just sneak by. Loose items can be thrown and strike enemies. As I said last time, like in Resident Evil, it was way more beneficial just to like run past or just like kind of dodge and get out of the way. And obviously that's easier when you have a game that has fixed camera angles and booms that load. It's way easier to get away with that, but. horribly like I always do. Was it just those two? I hear him. Yeah, he's right. So this one. I already saw that thing. Why am I heading straight towards him? I feel like there's I wish there was like a sound that you made. They're like liquors from Resident Evil 2. Get up, get up, get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. 
down up the ladder. Oops. That feels so dumb. That's another, like, idiot moment. He just can't even see me. I could have just sn oh my I don't know what fuck about it. So upset at myself. But I wish there was like a way if you threw a bottle and like the boss sort of like made a noise. Just like to let you know. Or like it's like I'm just like alright. Now what? Fantastic question. Um just kind of like looking and hoping that it was attracted by the tough claw. I'm gonna use it to kind of zip line my way out of here. I'm assuming. Yeah, yeah, come on, Carby. You'd rather fall to your death than go up in flames. Could be stupid. Yeah, there's no. I think running is. We call that. I wish I had my shotgun. I wish I looked for the dog collar. Way. Thank God. I will say that thing looks sick. Reminds me of, like the ritual. I can hear him sniffing. What are my seventeen? I'm just gonna start running. I really care less at this point. What are my seventeen bullets gonna do? Oh, bodies. Thank you. 17 bullets gonna do that thing. It's the hateful mound Jeremy talked about in his book. Oh, yeah. Just have to come in. Oh, I didn't even have to walk in there. Like, Edward's just hellbent. What are you doing here? I'm just a detective trying to find something called Tarawea. Yeah, Tarawea? <laughs> Why? I'm working for his niece. She wants to make sure he's all right. He might be unharmed, but far from all right. He's a curse upon DeSeto. Oh, here we go again. Quiet. That makes sense. sick. Can he also not see? That's why he's sniffing. Ah! Nice little Jurassic Park moment. Oh Christ in heaven. I can see why Jeremy went absolutely insane. Imagine finding that thing, falling back, and just your back in your oh, your room. I'm highlighting the shotgun. And my light just went on it. Dog collar. Dog collar. Hell at night. Intended for painting, but it's thin enough to slide through the crack of a door. It's to get that wedge out. A 
Reflections on the power of verb in certain texts. Reflections on the power of the verb in certain texts by Juan Luis Jorge. The act is in itself divine. Even the slightest movement of our hand is evidence of our soul in motion. Yet our free will is so easily overwhelmed by the dullness of everyday life. Our actions become wrought and rigid in spite of luxury and comfort. True divinity is found in the choice of leaving the stage where we perform. People who discover this freedom unexpectedly will be stuck by the terror of this revelation and become paralyzed, or worse, turn to suicide. Very Lovecraftian. And once you learn the truth, you go mad. However, if you are able to weather that storm, you will discover that there is a divine path beyond that fear. There is a chance to dismount your destiny and make something new, something that hasn't been planned or, or, or predestined. predestined. Stage room. Sitting room key. Yeah, I think this is gonna get rid of the wedge. It's wedge shot. It worked. These the right. I don't think I have everything I need. The Barlow lens. Instructions. To double the To double the magnifying shot, your telescope simply fit this. Barlow lens into your instrument, then operate the fine tuners to adjust the distance between your lenses. This is easily done while your eyepiece. Simply search for a position where your picture is clear and your flat. When correctly tuned, your telescope should present a clear picture. Cellar key. I think I'm missing the lens because if I. Yeah, I'm missing. Let's have to find it. And I'm sure once I find it and makes a clear picture, it's going to be horrifying. Hey. What's this? A ticket to salvation in any survival horror game. The old trusty shotgun. Let's go get that bit away. If there's no shots in it, I probably actually will cry. Hey. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Hey, hey. I want to do that. This is what happens when I press buttons like they did. Okay. But that is where we're going to cut it for this episode. Shit's obviously going down in this game, and I am loving every second of it. So where we're going to pick up is obviously we're going to make our way into the cellar as well as find the sitting room, because now we have keys for these things. If you like the content, drop a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, because obviously that helps out greatly. But we'll be picking up right where we left off for episode three, so stay tuned. So bonus clip, I realize there is no save file for this game. Apparently when my game crashed, it just didn't save it, it got rid of it. So thank God for Xbox, like, quick play or quick resume, because otherwise I would have to start from the beginning. If that happened, number one, I would cry. And then I would get in my head that Edward is cursed, and I would have to go with Emily, but luckily uh, Xbox saved the day. But that's it. Get out of here. Get out of my house.